Let's learn how to make this into this to make your family portraits. So I'm going to open up a, a new space. I'm using an eight by eight and a half by 11 rectangle artboard. Uh, this is typically the size that I have for my um, portraits, but you could adjust to whatever you want it to be. Uh, I'm going to upload the photo that I want to do. And here's the photo that I'm going to use today. We're going to change the opacity. So we're gonna click on the properties, which is this one right here with um, the lines and the circles. And we're going to lower the opacity. I'm gonna go about, and we're going to lower the opacity. I'm gonna go about 36%, whatever to um, where you could actually see it, see it, but it's still light enough that you could draw on top and you know see all of the layers. Okay, once you do that, I'm going to lock this layer and I'm going to start a new layer. Um, I locked it so that the picture doesn't move and it, you know, I could keep it in place. And then we're going to use the pencil tool to trace. I'm going to change the solid color to um, nothing and the outline color to black. And then once we're here, um, we're going to start tracing. So when you're tracing, you want to think about color blocking and you know each uh, each area of the person's body or face or colors so you know the hair the head the shoulders you know things like that another thing to remember is that when you're cutting you're going to need um, all of the layers to be a puzzle okay so we're going to use this line tool if it's not showing a line in a square or you know any of the other shapes just click on that bottom a triangle and get back to the line. You can use a line or a square and I'm just going to box off the bottom where I want to cut off um, cut off the picture. <clears throat> and I'm going back to the pencil so that I could start tracing. So here we go. We're going to trace out the face and if you don't like how you drew something just use two fingers to tap and it'll undo. So I'm going to um, outline the face and you can use two fingers to um, zoom in zoom out a, a, oops adjust Okay, so here's the picture. I know that I went a little too deep here, so I'm going to adjust that. I'm gonna click on this tool here. I'm gonna click on each of these um, nodes and I'm just going to adjust. I'm gonna go back to the pencil. We're gonna do the hair. If they have ways, give it some ways, get some movement in that drawing um, could you know if they have flyaways ignore those we're gonna continue and let's get this let's get the shoulders in And I want to, I, I also like to have movement. You know, there's like riffles on this outfit. So I gave a little bit of bounce. The hair, um, I, instead of cutting it straight, I like to have little bits of um, drawings inside the hair, kind of showing that there's movement in the hair. Um, but also make sure that it's not hitting any of the edges, that it doesn't cut through. Okay, so they're just like detail marks. So here is your final piece. Um, and once you have that, you are pretty much done. Um, you could go ahead and 
um, hide the first layer or you'd actually have to delete that first layer. Save your piece as an SVG file and there you have it.